Recently, Bernie Sanders went on the Joe Rogan Experience. Now, this is a, a show that is hosted by TV personality and comedian Joe Rogan. I've been watching the Joe Rogan Experience and listening to the Joe Rogan Experience for many, many years now. It's an awesome show. You guys should definitely check it out. And um, actually, you, a lot of you have already probably checked it out because... Um, because of Bernie's um, Bernie's um, appearance, and he did an absolutely wonderful job on this roughly one one hour um, appearance that he made with Rogan. It was about sixty seven minutes long, pretty short considering Bernie's um, Bernie's schedule, just kind of running around and doing campaign events and stuff. And you know, they they had some great discussions, great conversations about things that. Um, you know, everything. I, mean, I can re literally read you a list of all the things that they discussed, and it was really, it was really, you know, incredible. All the things that they covered, because, you know, a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of people talk shit about Joe Rogan. They pretend he's like some fucking right winger and he's like a pro white supremacist and everything. Listen, I have been listening to Joe Rogan for so long, whether he's, you know, hosting the UFC, UFC events, or actually being a commentator for UFC events, um, which is the ultimate fighting championship, mixed martial arts events, um, and, or, you know, hosting fear factor and stuff like that. He's a, he's a great guy. He's not only a funny guy, but he's a really, you know, he's really a decent human being in my opinion. And, um, some issue, you know, I don't agree with him on everything, and I don't agree with the fact that he does uh, with some of the guests that he brings on because he brings on a lot of people that are like right wingers and stuff, and people take issue with this. Um, but I just wanted to read you the issues here. People, so somebody posted on, you know, on the YouTube comments section, which I'm going to get to in a second. But on the YouTube comments section, um, they listed kind of all the different things that they spoke about and here let me just give you a kind of a rough list of everything they spoke about they spoke about mainstream presidential debates misconceptions of bernie sanders and healthcare in america lobbyists in america pharmaceutical policies how do you stop these policies what are you going to do to pre what are you going to do president bernie if bernie sanders is president um, minimum wage increases large corporations not paying taxes um, paying for college education and student loans, mental health reform and gun control, implementing assault rifle ban, mental health continued. So they continue to talk about mental health, marijuana legalization in America, illegal drug usage, incarceration and decriminalization, impoverished communities around America. How does a president do all of this? Climate change, convincing people climate change is real, and are you going to let us know about aliens when you become president? That was a pretty funny part. I'll post the the um, the art the article that kind of explains the their you know the whole episode and how it went and stuff. You guys want to check it out it's from Yahoo.com. But yeah, they discussed a lot of important issues, man. It was uh, really crazy. It, it was really it, it was crazy because people don't. I'm not not people. Just well, first of all, people don't really like. Honestly, a lot of people it doesn't seem like they take podcasts that seriously. You know, I mean, I host a podcast, but I mean, not. I'm saying like podcasts when two people are talking together, just one person kind of sitting in front of you like this, just talking. That's that's yeah, that's pretty popular. New media, you know, new media is definitely a popular thing for sure. But um, when it comes to you know two people sitting at a desk. And just having a conversation that's something that is not it's not as popular to some people depending on who you talk to now I, I would say that I would say that majority of Joe Rogan's audience is from what I've heard is is apolitical I did not know that um, they are apolitical and but they have an interest in like human, <laughs> you know, human events, things that are happening out there among, you know, regular people they care about. And this is something that people need to watch more because the debates that go on, the CNN, MSNBC, whatever, NBC, whatever, Fox News debates that happen, they, you don't, you know, debates is one thing. But yeah, those things, those things that happen, they're just not informative they involve short sound bites and sound clips that people you know you, you barely get to hear the entire perspective of what somebody believes this show like joe rogan's show 
yeah yeah joe rogan's show that's the show where you can learn about somebody more you know you can learn about somebody's views and, and ideology and you know what kind of person they are you know deep down much much better than you can on anything that you're going to see on cnn and this is something that cnn and the mainstream media hates they hate the existence of these podcasts let alone new media like this and you know kyle klinsky and and you know jimmy Dore and tim black and all these you know great hosts out there that we have that are you know on the left and progressive and but you know so some of you might be skeptical out there and be like hmm, yeah i don't know i'm not i don't really care for joe rogan i don't really care for his show i don't want to give him his show any kind of attention um i can't stand it he's a white supremacist something fucking white supremacist uh, sympathizer and he brings on a lot of right wingers i can't stand it so like people just get triggered by this and they can't stand the fact that he dares to have a conversation with people that are deplorable and i'm here to tell you that it's not only is it not that bad because you're just having a conversation you're not going there and embracing and endorsing the position that these people take because that's not what it is I mean, if using that logic then anybody that has any kind of conversation with somebody that's an asshole or that's a right winger or that's a white supremacist or a racist that means that person is automatically terrible now if they agree with them that's a different story and from what i know about joe rogan again i've known him i've known about him for many many years what i know about him he does not support racism he does not support white supremacy he does not support um you know these horrible these horrible views that's just not what he does so the people that say that are just honestly delusional delusional in my mind and they're just making things up and they just can't stand that somebody dares to do these things however when it comes to somebody like joe rogan what a lot of these people don't know is that they that he brings on all kinds of left-wingers on his show but right before he brought on bernie sanders he had also brought on cornell west who was a big bernie sanders supporter and a lot of people say that cornell west was the reason behind why bernie sanders came on his show because cornell West spoke to bernie spoke to rogan and he said hey you should bring on bernie sanders he was talking up bernie sanders a lot during their conversation i think the conversation with cornell west was a few days before that and so he brought on bernie sanders had that conversation and it, it was it came out with glowing reviews people loved this conversation and i'm not just talking about left wingers obviously the left wingers that support bernie sanders loved it but the people there's even people that are like right wingers admittedly people that are right wingers that are not supporters of bernie sanders they learned more about bernie sanders in this conversation with joe rogan more than they had ever learned anything from fox news and msnbc and all that stuff and cnn and all that crap so check out some of these comments i'm just going to read you like a bunch of the comments that stood out to me and um it's some of it is very very it's it's amazing so it says here um sup bro tv says last two cnn debates were seen by 2.4 million people this shit has six plus million views just on youtube who knows how many on itunes and by the way the number of viewers so far that have seen this is 7.8 million pe people have seen this almost 8 million people and it's only been how many days now it's only been six days or five days i think yeah five days so and then another comment says from dr zayas joe rogan used to encourage people to eat donkey balls on reality tv and is now interviewing presidential candidates more effectively than the mainstream media that's so true um another one says here kathy linder lindner says can't thank J joe rogan enough for providing a forum beyond what msm provides most people recognize the truth and reasonableness when they hear it thank you bernie sanders another person says they, they, they are uh, named success is the key or is key first time i finally understand his point of view thank you joe um it says uh, jack glasper says left or right we can all agree that alternative long-form discussions like this are far superior to superior to the sound bite factories in the mainstream media another person zachary willoughby says i have gained respect for bernie coming out coming and talking like whoa not a yelling match <laughs> um another person says charles dunlop says it's a sense of hope it's a sense of realism this man has my full financial support and vote another person says now you can now you see how the crazy socialist is not that radical it's just common sense go bernie go bernie javram arav said that 
Another person, Tony Lozano. This was more informative than any of those garbage debates. The debates felt like an episode of InfoWars. Um, Jesus fucking Christ, make podcast interviews ma uh, mandatory. TV sucks. <laughs> so true. Um, let's see. It's another person, a minor inconvenience. That's the name of the person. I registered to vote today after hearing this. Just to vote for this man. Thank you so much, Bernie. You have my support. Look at this one. It says, Tony Willis, as someone who would consider themselves a conservative, I have to say I have a great deal of respect for so many of Mr. Sanders' answers and for the man himself as well. His humility is something that is pretty damn novel in today's body politic, and it's truly refreshing. Thank you. I mean, this shit goes on and on. It's amazing. So, you, I think you guys get the idea. There's so many fucking com comments. <laughs> so, anyway, um, if you guys want to go check that out, I'll obviously post the... I'll post the, con the, the, the video of uh, Rogan's interview with Bernie in that uh, comment section. Uh, I'm sorry, in the, in the discussion, the, 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 the description box below. Um, by the way, that the number of comments on left on this video, 146,571 comments. Wow. Unbelievable. And I, I remember, you know, I watched this interview. I watched it with my mom and dad on last Tuesday night. And I, I honestly didn't expect this many this many people to watch it. And this was trending number one on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, that's a big deal. And I think it was top ten for like um, multiple days after that too. So that says a lot. <laughs> that says a hell of a lot about what people, about how people are interested in somebody and listening to somebody. And look at that. People are going out there. They're conservative. You know right wing there they have views that you know you know perhaps people obviously on the progressive side don't agree with and can't stand but they are loving the things that bernie sanders is saying because they, he's saying things he's saying things that all regular people can agree with and it's i mean this is something that people need to hear and furthermore people need to stop referring to joe rogan in these, you know, ridiculously, you know, ridiculously close-minded ways. And this comes from a lot of liberals and a lot of, yeah, well, certainly liberals because they hate Bernie anyway, <laughs> but, um, you know, liberals, I mean, but, um, and, and a lot of even progressives, unfortunately. I've seen a lot of people, I've argued with a lot of people about how, you know, they, when they call, when they refer to, you know, they refer to, to, Joe Rogan is a sympathizer with, you know, white supremacists because he brings on, like, Alex Jones and, um, you know, a bunch of other, right? Ben Shapiro, he's brought on. Um, he's brought on... Who else? Gavin McInnes was another guy. He's a Fox News, a lot of personality or something. Yeah, just a bunch of dudes, though. Milo Yiannopoulos he brought on. Um, that one New York Times columnist, what's her name? Candace Owens he's also brought on. He brought on this, yeah, this girl, what's her name? She's a big Israel supporter, too. Anyway, yeah, she was also a right-winger. So, yeah, just obviously just right-winger after right-winger. But he's also brought on Jimmy Dore twice. He's brought on Kyle Kalinske twice. Twice. He's brought on Cenk Uger. He's brought on Anna Kasparian twice, both from TYT, of course. He's brought on um, Abby Martin multiple times. Abby Martin has gone on there. Um, he's brought on... Um, uh, what's his name? Lee Camp. He's a He's a host for rt he's a comedian he's a great guy he's brought him on man he's brought everybody on his show and people just want to obsess over the right wingers that he has it's crazy like as if like no nobody cares what nobody cares about the left wingers in front or you just don't know and you just focus on you know the you know just focus on those right wingers because they and they've gone to the point like as i said they were you know referred to him as like some sort of white supremacist um you know sympathizer they they referred um to him as also a, somebody that is a gateway quote unquote gateway to the right to the alt-right gateway to the alt-right that is crazy <laughs> i mean the thing people the things that some of these people say is just absurd and they don't they just have zero regard for like caring about 
actual conversation discussion. If you don't want to watch, you know, Joe Rogan talk to Ben Shapiro or Gavin McInnes or Alex Jones, that's perfectly fine. I'm not, I'm not saying that you should go watch those shows, but don't determine somebody's, you know, somebody's reputation and, you know, smear them because they have conversations with those people and don't, you know, spit in their eye and tell them they're wrong. By the way, when he had, um, uh, Candace Owens on, he, he called her out for her denial of climate change. Um, he, he went after my, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, I believe for, what was it? He, he went after her, he went after Milo for denying that being gay is a, is a, like a regular, like it's a thing that is in your body. He think like he assumes that like, oh no, you just choose to be gay. So you're not biologically gay according to Milo Yiannopoulos. But, you know, Joe Rogan slapped him around for that. And, and you know, Milo was yelling at him and interrupting Rogan and telling him, you know, speaking over him and stuff. And he's, and Rogan was like, dude, relax. Let's have a conversation. Stop interrupting me so much. We can't have a conversation if you're going to keep yelling over me. So stop all this crosstalk. And he tried to have a conversation with Milo and try and convince him that this is a ridiculous position to take. And Milo Yiannopoulos is gay. And he's saying, he's actually going out there and saying that, like, oh, no, no, uh, being gay, like, if I had an option, I wouldn't be gay. Dude, <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you have an option or not. You're gay. If, you, if you're gay, you're gay. If you like dick, that's fine. If you like, you know, if you're a man and you like dick, that's fine. If you're a woman and you like, you know, vagina, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You're a normal person. That doesn't make you a bad person. doesn't make you abnormal at all. And this is an argument coming from a straight man telling it to a gay man who's you know, self-hating himself, essentially. So people that want to go out there and pretend like Rogan is a right-winger, a secret right-winger or some shit because he's best friends with uh, Alex Jones or whatever and, you know, he dares to, to talk to people like that, honestly, you're just a close-minded prick. And that goes for progressives, that goes for liberals, neoliberals, Democrat loyalists, whatever. If you think like that, I don't want to have anything to do with you because those people are assholes. And his conversation with Cornell West and Bernie Sanders and all those other left-wingers that I mentioned proves you people wrong. So you don't know anything. You don't know shit about Joe Rogan. I'm somebody that has been watching and listening to Joe Rogan forever. And I know exactly what he stands for. And he's never taken a position that is a right wing. In fact, one time I think he even said that, he even said that, you know, Barack Obama is his favorite president of all time. This was back when he was president, still, obviously. And I was like, a lot of people were like, oh my God, Joe Rogan, how, you, how dare you say that? How could you take that position? But he said it. And, he, and so what are you going to say now? So all of a sudden, what? I mean, and believe me, I, I, don't support, I don't support Barack Obama. I voted for him, but I don't support his policies. But those are the things that right-wingers hate for, left, you know, for anybody to say, especially a left-winger. <laughs> so, and, you know, if the right-wingers hate it, then... Are, are hating what Joe Rogan is saying, then why would they be loving him so much? How would he be a right-winger if he supports somebody that the right-wingers hate? So, I mean, trying, uh, trying to understand the logic of some of these people just doesn't make any sense. So, I don't even know why I bother with it, but it pisses me off.